Want to create a multi-line link in Markdown? It's actually pretty easy, but you might not know about the feature. Now by multi-line link, I mean a link where the link text itself contains new line characters. So this is not just a link that is so long that it wraps over multiple lines, that's very easy to create, but we want a link where the link text always is going to be displayed on multiple lines. Let's take a look at how we can do this. So to understand the problem, here I have a basic markdown link. We have the markdown source text on the left and then the rendered markdown over here on the right. And we want this link to have line one on one line and then the text line two on a separate line. To create that, we might first go and try to just add a new line on the uh, text here. So you can see that this uh, is displaying correctly over in the markdown source text, but over here in the rendered markdown, it is still showing as a single line. This is actually the same behavior that if we had the same link text just as normal text, not as a link, um, Markdown will also just display it as a single line. When Markdown sees two lines like this that are immediately after each other, it basically just gets rid of the new line and adds a space in between them instead. If we instead really want this text to be treated as multiple lines, we can use the same techniques that we do for normal text. And I have a whole video actually demonstrating those. So let's go to our link here. And the first approach we can take is just adding backslashes at the end wherever we want to add a line break. So we'll add a backslash at the end of this first line here. Now you can see that in the rendered markdown, it is actually correctly displaying as two separate lines now. So just by adding that backslash over there, we're able to go and force it to be rendered with a line break so that we get our correct uh, two separate lines. We need to add backslashes anywhere we want inside of the text. And this includes for blank lines. So let's say that we actually wanted an extra blank line between the two lines here. Uh, if I try adding that in the source text, you'll notice that the markdown link is no longer being correctly re rendered. It's basically considering this text and this text as two separate paragraphs instead as a single link element. We can fix that just by adding a backslash to the blank line. So if I add a backslash on the blank line, now it's considering this text all a single link and it's correctly rendering it, with, including that blank line that is over here on line four in our source text. It's also important to note that the backslashes only work at the very end of the line. So if we went into the first line here and just added a backslash in the middle of the text, that is just going to be rendered as a literal backslash character. To get the hard line break, we need to add the backslash at the very end of the line instead. Using these backslashes to create line breaks is probably the easiest approach, but there are two other ways you can do this as well. So let's take a look at those. The first one is that we could use the HTML break element, so the BR element. Uh, for this, we're just going to go to the end of the line here and add a BR tag. So we'll say BR here, and you can see that now this is correctly being rendered. If I get rid of the line break here, the backslash one, you can actually see that we have the same behavior before as with the backslash text. Now, one nice feature about the BR tag is that you can actually have it anywhere on the line. So if we actually wanted to uh, just have a single line of text in the editor, uh, but have the link itself be displayed as two separate lines of text, you can see that we can actually do that just by having the BR tag in the middle of the text. And we can add as many BR tags as we want, and those will all be correctly rendered. The downsides of the BR tag is that it's a little bit more verbose, and some Markdown engines will actually strip out any inline HTML. So they'd look at this and either throw some sort of error or just strip out the BR tag silently, and you'd end up with a single line of text. So just something to be aware of if you do use the HTML tag approach. Now there is one final way to create multi-line text, uh, and that is also just going to use normal markdown syntax. So let's go back to our two lines uh, link here. And instead of using a backslash at the end of the first line, we can actually go in here and add two space characters to force a hard line break. So I'll just add two space characters at the end of the line here. And you can see that by adding those two space characters, we've gone and forced a hard line break between these two lines here. The downside of this approach is that these space characters are very easy to overlook and they also don't work on blank lines. So let's say that we actually want to have a blank line between these two lines of text here. Uh, if we try adding the two spaces on the blank line here, you'll notice that it is not rendering correctly. So it is rendering as a broken link, unlike the backslashes, which do support blank lines. So that's a look at three different ways of creating multi-line links in Markdown. You can either choose one of the approaches that you prefer or mix and match them depending on what you need.